All right, Justin, obviously, you know, you hit the portal. A lot of schools are after you. You know, what were some of the, the key things that you were looking at for your next destination? And why did Arizona State check those boxes for you? Man, well, first I want to um, – I wanted to be in a situation where I would be playing for a stable coaching staff. You know, I don't want to, you know, be recruited by somebody and then, you know, it gets crazy in the college football world and then they end up not being there. You know, so I felt that, you know, with this staff being new, you know, and energetic that, you know, that they're going to spend a lot of time here trying to, you know, rebuild this program, turn it around, move it in the right direction. Um, secondly, I wanted to uh, play in a defense that fit my skill set um be able to maximize all the opportunities on the field um talking with coach ward and coach reynolds man i feel like the defense that they run here can definitely maximize a lot of opportunities for me and then third was also being able to um compete for a starting job or a significant role in the defense man so those were those all those all those uh boxes were checked by arizona state man and 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 being able to, you know, have all those answers and then on the flip side, see so much love and so much, you know, energy and passion coming from the staff, the city and uh, the players, man, it made the decision really easy. So obviously you, you, those boxes are checked, but then you come out here for for a visit, you know, once you're here in Tempe and, and you know, kind of taking in what it is to be a Sun Devil and everything that it offers, what were the things that really kind of jumped out to you most during your visit? Man, the 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 energy from the staff, man, and the love, man, you know, Coach Reynolds, um, Coach Ward, you know, Coach Dillingham, all those guys, man, they made everything feel at home, you know, and, and, and that was a big part for me, you know, being that I'm traveling all the way across the country, you know what I'm saying? So feeling at home was, was, was very special for me. And, um, seeing the vision, you know, seeing the plan, you know, uh, the things that they want to do here, you know, it's not, you know, all unreachable goals, you know, it's not all unrealistic expectations. Um, we can do a lot of the things that we can do um, in college football. We can, we can make it out of this place. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was the, all those things went into, a car, uh, into account with, you know, making the decision for me, man. And it was, it was pretty easy. I could tell you that for sure. <laughs> So you, you mentioned, of course, that, the, you know, it has that, that home feel to it. But, you know, as you got to know, uh, you know, just some of the, the folks, the, the people behind the program. Overall, what's your kind of read on the, on the vibe and the culture that's in place? Obviously, it's still a relatively new staff heading into the, the second season here. But what's overall your vibe on kind of just the culture and, and what it is, what, how it's been established here in Tempe? Well, you know, what's e really easy to understand is that Coach Dillingham is trying to win and he's trying to win right now. You know what I'm saying? So he's surrounded himself with, with a bunch of vets, you know, being able to have an opportunity to play for Coach Reynolds, you know, with a, who has a tremendous resume, you know, who's been coaching at, you know, real big name schools. He's coached in the NFL. He works at the NFL Pass Rush Summit, you know, with guys like Von Miller and Aaron Donald, you know, and Max Crosby and things like that. So, you know, being able to put myself in a position to be surrounded with you know, so many great people and with, with you know, very high expectations. Um, I feel like it was only right to do that because it'll eventually put me in a position where I want to be and to be successful in those ways as well. Kenny Dillingham obviously had a lot of thrown, lot thrown at him uh, in his first season as a head coach. Thought, you know, in covering the program, did a pretty good job kind of given all the circumstances and what he inherited and has, you know, really got things on a positive trajectory. What's your read on him as just kind of the leader of the program, a guy who's obviously got an offensive mastermind kind of, re, you know, reputation, but also just now that he's a head coach, how do you see him as the leader kind of leading this program in all the aspects? Man, <laughs> very, very energetic. You know, he brings <laughs> all that energy, you know, um, being able to connect with him and just talk with him a little bit, you know, he makes it very comfortable for his guys. You know what I'm saying? So as far as, you know, being able to connect with him, you know, reach out to him for anything. And, you know, having a head coach that you're comfortable with, having a head coach you can mesh with, you know, is always very important because you never know um, when you're going to need that down the line. So being able to uh, play for him and, and hear his philosophies and hear the things that he wants to accomplish um, going into the next season, man, it, it was it – was, uh, 
it was very it was very easy. Like I said, I keep saying it, man, but it was very easy to uh, make the decision after hearing everything that the school, um, the city, and the community really has to offer. So uh, you mentioned earlier that the scheme and the defense was uh, one of the big boxes that you wanted to have checked, and the ASU did that. When you look at Coach Ward's scheme and the kind of the, the pressure, the, the chaos that it likes to bring, it's you know it's one of the reasons why he's here is that Kenny Dillingham liked the, you know, the trouble it gave him when he when Kenny was still the OC at Oregon. Uh, mm-hmm. What is about Brian Ward's scheme that really kind of jumps out? You maybe specifically about what they ask of its D line. Man, it's it's a very attacking scheme. You know, you're not sitting, you're not trying to read blocks. You're getting up the field, you're causing penetration, and you're causing a lot of, you know, mayhem um, on the way to the quarterback, man. It's not a, a, a scheme where you really have to sit and think about too much. You know, you get to just play football, you get to put your hand in the dirt, and you get to go. And I feel like that benefits me as far as, man, I'm, I'm, I'm very attacking. I'm very, you know, I have a very high motor. I'm explosive. You know, I, I, I can see myself playing on the edge. I can see myself playing inside on a three tech. You know, I'm very I'm, I'm a versatile player, man. So I feel like playing in this defense really maximizes the opportunities, not only for me, but for everybody else around me as well. You, you touched on you know, Coach Reynolds having, you know, quite an impressive resume in terms of what he's been able to develop and most notably the recent stops at Michigan State, and especially at Stanford. Uh, you know, not having not gone through a practice with him as of yet, you know, what's the what's your read on what kind of coach he is? And that's going to be a guy that's going to be able to kind of unlock your potential and, and develop you. Man, being being surrounded by a guy like that, man, it, it only gives you so much more confidence, you know, in yourself, you know, confidence in your D-line coach that he's going to use all the re- resources to, you know, turn you into the player that you really want to be, you know. So I, I have nothing but trust for him, nothing but love, man. It's, it's, I, I definitely feel the vibe that Coach, coach Reynolds can get me to exactly where I want to be um, with this, you know, with this game of football, you know, so I trust him. I trust him, you know, reading that resume, like I said, man, it's, it's kind of <laughs> hard not to. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited to play for him. So, and uh, one of the, the cool things that really jumped out to me and kind of, you know, researching and getting and to know your background a little bit is, you know, even though you're a Cleveland guy, you're a, you're a Steelers fan, like myself, I'm a diehard Steelers fan. And that Troy Polamalu is your uncle, which is like, for my money that, I mean, watching him play, oh, what a, what a, what a blessing that was. What has it been like, you know, A, being a Steelers fan in Cleveland, but also, you know, having, uh, you know, an uncle of that stature, what kind of advice, you know, in, in terms of, you know, the game and, you know, both on and off the field has he given you over the years? Man, Troy, like he he's probably one of the most humble guys you'll ever meet. You know, he if if you you know, if he was just walking down the street, you wouldn't even know it was him. You know, that's the type of guy he is, that's how he carries himself. So um what I learned from him is really, you know, humility, you know, um being able to, you know, win and be and be very high, but also, you know, stay very level headed at at the same time, you know. So that um, he's a very, very hard worker. You know, you don't get you don't get to do the things that he's done, you know, win two Super Bowls, do all these things, you, you know, go to numerous Pro Bowls and things like that without without working very hard, man. So, you know, that that hunger, that dedication, knowing that, you know, no matter how high you get, you know, there's always more to reach past it. You know, so he motivates me with that, man. And, you know, being able to be, you know, closer to the West Coast where, that, where you know, that my side of the family uh, – that I have out here is man being able to be closer to them. I don't think, I don't think that my family that I have on this side of the country is uh been able to see me uh live in person. So that's there's an opportunity to do that coming out here as well, man. And and also what you're saying being a, a Steelers fan <laughs> in Cleveland, man. But uh, it it goes a little bit deeper than that, man. I, I think I'm the only Steelers fan in my household. <laughs> so so yeah, man. It's a house divided up here, man. But you know, it's been fun, man, because because for the majority of, you know, my life, the, the Steelers have ran that rivalry, you know. Yeah. So, so I uh, I get a little bit of uh, bragging rights on my dad and, and stuff <laughs> like that. It's been cool. Awesome. Uh, you, you touched on earlier, you know, a high motor player, a lot of energy, a guy who likes to attack. You know, what el- what other things will ASU fans see from you on the field? You know, c- kind of give our listeners a self-scouting report uh, on what you're going to bring to this defense. Man, me, I'm a competitor, man. You know, I, being in Cincinnati, I've I've seen the highest of highs and I've seen the lowest of lows. You know what I'm saying? So 
playing in the Big 12, going into the Big 12, I've been there. I know I know exactly what it's about, man. And and I compete. You know, I like to win. You know, I, my first two years in college, I went to, you know, the Peach Bowl my freshman year. Should have probably should have beat Georgia. And then the second year went 13 and 0. Went to the college football playoff. Had a chance to play um, one game away from a national championship. So. Winning is everything that I'm about, man. I'm a winner. I want to come in. I want to help this team win now. And I want to be able to put myself in a position to play at the highest level. And and to do that, man, you, you can't take any plays off, man. I, like I said, I got a really high motor. I'm very explosive. Um, and, and this defense that Coach Ward runs, man, and, and all the things that I can learn from Coach Reynolds, I feel like we have a very bright future here. And I'm coming in to give – you know, Sun Devil Nation and Tempe, everything that I have. Obviously, yeah, that, that playoff run was pretty remarkable. The, seeing the Bearcats, you know, you know, repping the G5 like that and, and making some noise on a, on a national level. You know, obviously the last couple of years here for ASU have been pretty rough, uh, but, you know, the trend line seems to be up. So as a guy who's had that high-level success that's been to, you know, the, the pinnacle of what this sport has to offer, what do you think you, you – you, what lessons can you impart upon – this Sun Devil program about, you know, knowing what it takes to win and what it takes to get there. Man, it really, at the end of the day, you hear a lot of coaches preach about it, but it really, really does come down to the little things, man. Knowing that you can lose a game off of one mistake, you know, a, a false start penalty. I think we just seen it this past weekend with the Kansas City Chiefs, man. If Kadarius Tony lines up on the sides, <laughs> man, it's a different ball game. You know what I'm saying? So it really comes down to to the small things with this game man and and just really being disciplined man when you get a whole a whole room of guys on the same page you get a whole locker room on the same page with one common goal and everybody trying to work to the same goal man and you can see it can be done man um out of out of a group of five school man we had a lot of talent you know i was surrounded by a lot of nfl guys and and a great head coach and luke fickle so you know that I, I knew I learned coming into high school. I mean, my bad. Coming into college, that you know, you know what it, you have to learn what it takes to win, man. And you have to learn to be disciplined, and you have to learn to do all the little things right. So that's what that's really what I learned um, coming from that program, and that's what I want to you know try to instill in this program. So uh, a couple of years in the American, and now uh, most recently uh, one in the Big Twelve, and of course ASU's future home. What should the Sun Devils know about what the what uh, life is like in the Big Twelve? Man, it's 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 easy to lose, but it's really easy to win, man. You know, I I was I was just in a coming out of a rough season. You know, we went three and nine, um, but I think that you know out of a lot of those games that we lost, man, if a little like I said, those little things, if a little a little bit of things went differently, man, our season could have went a whole lot different. You know, whether it's you know picking up that first down on fourth and one or, you know, not getting a personal foul or not jumping off sides. You know, that's what I that's what I learned, man. This conference is, you know, it's not it's not um, something where, you know, I, I came from, you know, the American and I had to take a step up, man. Arizona State's going from P5 to P5, man. It's, it's going to be a little bit different of a change over here, man. You have a little bit more resources and and we can definitely win it all. We can definitely win it all, and especially with this 12-team college football playoff, man, we got a shot for real. So an Ohio guy, you ready for this uh, Arizona Heat? Hey, man, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited, man. I, I took my visit. I didn't really I didn't really know what to expect too much, man, but when I got down there and I and I got a chance to see that, shoot, it's, it's 70 degrees in December, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot, a long, a long way from home for sure. <laughs> Uh, and of course, you know, when you're uh, looking ahead to this upcoming 2024 season, first in the maroon and gold, and you'll be running out through Tillman Tunnel next to the Pat Tillman statue. And what are your what are your goals? What are, like, what do you want to get out of this upcoming season? Man, um, I want to I want to play for a shot at a Big 12 title, you know, in a, in a college football playoff berth. Man, I want to I want to play for for the fans of, of Tempe. You know, uh, I want to be able to experience that stadium, man. I, I walked through it a lot and, and I was getting chills in an empty stadium. So I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna feel when, when it's full. So uh, I wanna experience all those things, man. I wanna win. Like I said, Coach Dillingham's bringing in a lot of winners he wants to win right now, man. So that's that's a big thing for me, man. Uh, besides last season, man, I, I've won at every stage of my life. You know, little league, high school, 
you know, my first two years of college, man. So that's really big for me, man, coming into a situation and surrounding myself by a bunch of winners and, you know, going to work every day and getting that job done.